Can you imagine traveling and not trying the local cuisine? What pops into your head when you think of Chinese food? Dumplings, hot pot, maybe Beijing duck? Well, if that's all you know, it's time to update that culinary database. And today, I'm gonna take you on a journey to discover unique flavors of China. I'm here in Zhenzhou, Hunan. You see that building over there? The locals call it the Big Corn. It just goes to show you how passionate the folks in Zhenzhou are about their food. 你好,叔叔,请问一下,真正有什么好吃的?何句会面?胡辣汤,焖饼,胡辣汤,或者是四场的会面都很好吃。I heard somebody mention hot pepper soup. That's got to be the first one I'm going to try. No wonder this place is so popular online. So many people here bright and early. Finally, it's my turn. I ordered the smallest amount of spice and it's still hitting me like a freight train. Already spicy. How do I describe it? It's like, uh, it's hotter than my girlfriend. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's good though. It's, it's like numbing, but um, it's so tasty. I, I can't stop for some reason. All right, over here we got these beef pies. I've heard lots of good things about these beef pies. Mmm, that's pretty good. The beef has like a stewed flavor to it. Boy, my mouth sure is on fire. Let's hope the next meal is a little more gentle, like my girlfriend. How can you come to Genjo and not try the braised noodles? I found Huji Braised Noodles, a famous brand that stood the test of time. Let's check it out. Take a look around. This place is packed. <gasps> it's huge. Oh my gosh. It looks so hearty. This looks like some good noodle. Not noodles, one noodle. It's like all connected. Ooh, this lamb looks really good. Smells good. Mm. Pretty good lamb flavor. Let's try the noodles. And the locals, they pair the garlic with the noodles. You have to have them together. No wonder this is one of Genjo's top dishes. It's so unique. I'd love to learn how to make it. Oh, I got a cut. Oh, I cut. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness, it's breaking. My eyes have learned, but my hands have not caught up. Don't laugh. Come try it yourself first before you begin judging me, because uh, it's pretty hard. In Jinjo, there's more than one old renowned restaurant. This one right here, Gucci Stewed Shredded Pancakes, has a long history and it's recognized as intangible culture heritage of Hunan province. Let's check it out. The staff explained to me that they use marinated pork belly with eight different spices. They slow cook it in a jar to release its aroma. And then they pan fry the pancakes, slice them into strips, and then they simmer it in a big iron wok with various ingredients to release the ultimate flavor combination. And they recommended the Yellow River Carp with steamed noodles. I'm gonna have to try that one. Is this all for me? There's so much. The people from Genjo are really generous. Let's try, ooh, look at these pancake strips. They're all shiny and glazing. <gasps> these big chunks of meat. These veggies over here must have been cooked in some sort of delicious batter. Tender and nutritious. It looks like a fish sleeping under a blanket. What do you think the blanket is made of? 
The waiter told me that they are dragon beard noodles fried until crispy. And then you could dip the noodles in the fish broth for ultimate deliciousness. Ooh, the fish looks so good. Let's dig in. The fish is fried too. Mmm, even the bones are tender. So tender, I don't even know if there's any bones in there. Let's try the noodles. Oh yeah, they're definitely a good pair. Very good. I'm gonna keep on eating. Quit watching me. Whew, after a full day of feasting, it's time to go take a walk, digest all this. A local told me that this street is famous for its food, but I'm just gonna look, I'm not gonna eat. So many people are lining up, but you know what? I've reached my calorie limit for the day. I'm not going to eat, just look. It's so delicious, I can't resist. And rice cakes, oh my. All right, I think I'm hungry again. After a whole day of eating Hunan specialties, I'll end it with some Hunan dialect. Daisy.